The next step is to remove unnecessary bodies, add split line features, and relief cuts prior to flattening. In this example, we will delete the mirrored pipe cover bodies. We will use the mirrors and multiples feature when nesting in order to avoid duplication of work. Here, we will add split line features in order to split faces that will nest poorly. First, we insert a sketch on the face, then line segments define the splits. After finishing our sketch segments, we close the sketch. We'll then use a split line feature with the projection option. We select our faces. We now have our split lines. Here, we've added a relief cut to the pipe elbow using a split line feature. We can add additional relief cuts by using a circular pattern feature. We now use the Piece Creator tool to select and knit faces to form named pieces. When a piece is created, faces turn transparent and are locked for editing, allowing work to proceed on to the interior layers. After creating all of the pieces forming the facings, I will hide the facings and unhide the insulation panels in the body folders. I now can create the pieces forming my insulation panels. After creating pieces, the entire model consists of surface bodies. Face boundaries can be seen in black, and piece boundaries can be seen in red.